Hi guys, this is Amr from Certified Power. Today I will be showing you how to do a drop test, also known as a measured dump, on a 7 inch non touch spread smart using a toggle keypad. Before we get into this process, we need to go over some important things. We recommend using at least two people for this job. You'll need the appropriate personal protective equipment. That includes, but is not limited to, eye protection, safety gloves, and steel-toed footwear. You'll also need a method to weigh a large amount of salt, sand, or similar material. That includes, but is not limited to, a shovel, bucket, and bathroom scale combination, a truck scale, or a forklift scale. To run a drop test, your auger and spinner must be trimmed. If you do not know what this means, notify our tech support team and they will tell you what you need to do. Make sure your truck engine is operating at 1200 to 1400 RPM. We want to make sure we have enough hydraulic flow to run our functions. Turn on your device through the power switch on the toggle keypad. To access your configuration menu, Push both the auger and pre-wet switches down simultaneously. You will then be asked for a password. Use the spinner controls to change the digits and use the blast slash pause controls to change the cursor position. On my device, this switch is labeled pause. On some of your devices, it may be labeled as pass. For this application, they mean the same thing. At factory default, the password will be 9000. Refer to your supervisor if your password has been changed. I will use the spinner control to change the first digit to 9, then use the pause control to run the cursor past the end of the password to access the configuration menu. Use the spinner control to move your cursor to materials. Then use the pause control to access it. Use the pause control to select granular. Move your cursor to the material you want to calibrate using the spinner control, then select it using the pause control. Now if you have a closed loop system, use the spinner control to scroll all the way down to pulses per pound. If you have an open loop system, select maximum pound per minute. It is essential to have your auger trimmed to the highest accuracy when doing a drop test on an open loop system. The rest of the steps are identical whether you have a closed loop or open loop system. For this example, I have a closed loop system and will select pulses per pound. The first method I will go over is the truck weight method. Select Calibrate using truck weight using the pause control. You will see this instruction page. It says that weight calibration allows SpreadSmart to accurately measure materials spread based on sensor inputs. This is done by weighing the truck, dispensing at least one yard, and weighing the truck again. Use the pause switch to skip through. Weigh your truck and input that weight in pounds into the page using the spinner and blast slash pause switches. For this example, I will input 15,500 pounds. Run the cursor past the end of the weight value to get to the drop test page. Run the auger at 50%. Material will begin dispensing. Let the drop test run until you have at least a yard of material. The more material you dispense, the more accurate your calibration will be. Once you have dispensed enough material, use the pause control to stop the drop test. Reweigh the truck. 
Make sure you remain consistent by not switching drivers or adding any weight that was not calculated into the first weigh-in. For the sake of this example, I am going to take 15,000 pounds as the final weight of my truck. Enter that weight in pounds into the SpreadSmart. Run the cursor past the end. You will see a new pulses per pound value. Use the pause control to accept or the blast control to cancel and start over. Now the second method I'll go over is the material weight method. Select weigh material dropped. You will see an information page saying that weight control allows SpreadSmart to accurately measure material spread based on sensor inputs. This is done by dispensing a significant amount and weighing the material dispensed. For weighing the material, we will either need a bucket, shovel, and bathroom scale, or a forklift scale. Use the pause control to skip this message. Engage the auger at 50%. Unload at least about 300 to 500 pounds of material. The more material you dispense, the more accurate your calibration will be. Use the pause control to stop the drop test. Weigh the material dump using your chosen weighing method. If you are using a bucket, shovel and scale method, first, record the weight of the empty bucket. Then, shovel the material into the bucket and record that weight. Subtract the weight of the empty bucket from that of the full bucket. Multiply that value by the total number of buckets to get the total weight of the dispensed material. If you are dumping the material into a forklift scale, you should be able to read the weight of the dumped material. Input this weight in pounds into the text box. Run the cursor past the end of the weight value to save. You will see a new pulses per pound value. Use the pause control to accept or the blast control to cancel and start over. This is how you do a drop test on a SpreadSmart non-touch controller using a toggle keypad. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to give us a call on the number provided on the screen or visit our website at www.certifiedpowersolutions.com.